What is up you guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and before I start this video I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that participated in the Big Red video. It's been getting awesome feedback since day one and it seems to be the best looking PC on YouTube according to you guys so once again thank you so much for that. Now I know you're probably wondering what's happening with the part 2 and part 4 of the video. Well here is part 2 and I'll be uploading part 4 within a week I would say or so. Now that phone season is over, we can focus on PC videos. And I know those of you guys that subscribe to my channel for PC videos specifically, I'm not going to let you guys down. There's going to be plenty more where this came from, so make sure you guys stick around for that. I did do a straw poll about a month ago on my Twitter page, and I asked you guys what type of PC did you want me to build. And I had some options of a $500 PC build up to a $1,000 uh, gaming build. And you guys spoke out, and you wanted to see a $500 gaming budget build so that's going to be coming up to you guys within this month if not early next month for sure um, but other than that uh, I'm going to let you guys continue on with the video this is how we build Big Red I hope you guys enjoy it Welcome to the setup video of Big Red. We have been getting the same questions over and over again and in this video I will not only explain how we did it but show you as well. Okay so starting off with the most asked question, how the hell did we fit the Rampage for Black Edition motherboard into the H440 case? Yes, these two are incompatible according to their websites with each other, however with some modifications we were able to make it work out. First off, we removed the rubber grommets from the case, all three of them located on the right side. Next, I cut out four of the square pieces from the grommets because I'm going to use them as insulators. Next up, I gently laid the motherboard in the case without screwing it in just yet. Now this is the crucial part in making this work. The reason why the motherboard is incompatible is because it's an extended ATX motherboard and the side of it touches the case which I'm sure you guys know is a bad thing. So that's where the rubber grommets come in. Slightly raising the motherboard, go ahead and slide in rubber pieces so that they are in between the motherboard and the case. There are a total of three locations that you need to place the pieces on and all you really need is just one rubber piece in each spot but you can put two if you're an overly cautious person. So after that I tighten the screws and voila, that's basically it for making the motherboard fit inside the H440 case. The next question we kept getting was how did we change the color on the green GTX logo? Well I actually made a separate video on that showing how you can disassemble your graphics card and apply custom paint to it as well as change the color of the logo. You can click on the little box here to check that video out and it will also be in the description section down below. As far as painting the other parts in my PC, it's pretty simple really. All I did was cover the parts I did not want to paint with frock tape and spray painted the rest. Specifically the SSDs, I'm not even sure if you guys noticed it in the video, but I did paint the sides red and even the square in the middle which was originally orange got painted red as well. I did use anywhere from 2-4 to four coats of paint with 30 minutes between each coat and I made sure to wait one whole day before installing the parts just to make sure that the paint didn't get scratched off easily. If you guys are interested in custom painting your own PC and run into any problems or if you just have any question at all then you can leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. But anyways, that's how we built Big Red. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single step since building a pre-C is pretty standard and I didn't want to bore you guys with the rest of the build process. When we build our $500 gaming PC, we will also make an instructional video on how to build it. That way, you guys can do it yourself if you decide to get one. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks again for watching. This is Ed from TechSource and I'll see you in the next one.